Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to wire up the giant 3D printed drone. Now if you haven't seen our first video on how to build the frame, why not click the link in the description and we'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, as you can see here, we've got an ESC on the screen. Now it's a Q-Brain from Hobby King. It's a 4x25 amp ESC all in one. And you can see here the 4 signal wires and the V plus 5 volts and the ground wire. I've also soldered on a Deans connector just to power it up. Now you'll notice there's three wires coming out for each motor, so that's 12 wires all together. And Alex has connected them up and he's just putting some tape on them. And that's just so that when we power it up, we can see the rotation of the motor. And if it's going the wrong way, we can unplug two of the wires and swap them over and that should fix it. Now the Illuminati 32 is the flight controller we're using. It's based on the NAS 32. The reason why I got it was it was cheap and had a plastic cover and we'll also need a receiver which we use Orange RX's and they seem to work pretty well. Now here's a bird's eye view of the setup. So you'll see the four motors, the ESC, the Illuminati where we've just got the signal wires and everything twisted together with some tape over it. Now if you've seen our first video you'll probably know what happens next. It's not very good on my behalf. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. That got really hot then, that battery. So that's a lesson of do not reverse polarity a uh, battery because it can do damage. So I desolder it, swapped it over and all was good. Now in plugging it into the computer, you'll notice that the motors just start twitching. It's probably really hard to see, but they just start twitching. And we had a problem here where when I'd go into clean flight, it wouldn't spin the motors at all. And I couldn't figure out why for quite a while, which these ESCs, you actually need to change them from a multi-shot or one-shot support just to PWM. You can flash them, I believe, but you have to buy a programming card or something. But for this project, it's not a performance quad. PWM is going to be fine. Slow! Slow, man! Now, in doing that, you can see here we've got the rotation, so motor one needs to go clockwise. Yeah, okay, it's going that way. And it was going anti-clockwise, so this one here we needed to swap the wires over. You can see Alex here writing down on the little bits of tape what goes to where, so when we unplug everything and go to solder it all together in the frame, we'll know exactly what goes where and which orientation it should go in. Now, our next step, we cut off some uh, security wire, I believe it was. It's probably like 0.5 mil, 0.75 mil wire. We pulled it through the frames and essentially soldered it inside the frames and joined it all together. Sadly, we didn't take any videos of this because the camera died. So Alex has taken a little video here once we finished on his phone, essentially. So you can see there the motor wires, they go into the frame. We ended up drilling that hole out, but I reckon we will change the 3D print. so that hole comes actually printed and the wires run through the inside and if Alex flips this over you'll actually see we've made another little hole where all the wires come out so it's super neat everything's hidden which is really great um, but we'll probably add this hole in too and we just cable tied down the ESC Q brain and that's it so thanks for watching guys and next week let's see if this bad boy will fly or not thanks for watching No smoke, it's a good sign. No throttle. Did you finish programming it? We'll find out. <laughs>